Assalamu alaikum class. What are we learning today? Yes, we are learning about Surah Al Kawthar. And do you know anything about Surah Al Kawthar? Yes, Surah Al Kawthar is located in the 30th chapter and has three ayahs. And do you know anything about the cause of revelation? No, but can you teach me? Yes, of course, my friend. This happened when the Prophet, peace be upon him, was alive. Every man in Mecca wanted to have a son. Having a son meant that the name of the father and the family would stay alive generation after generation. The Prophet also had sons, but one after another, they died. This caused all the people in Mecca to call the Prophet Abdur. The word Abdur means a man without a son. Still, in response, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that all those people will once be Abdur. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean when he says these people will also be Abdur? What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to say is after the battle of Badr or when all the people in Mecca converted to Islam, there was no one to carry on the religion of idols. And that's what the fathers of Mecca before the Prophet always used to do. They tried to spread the religion of idols. The cause of revelation was really good. But can you translate the surah for me? Of course. Now let's start. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Inna a'twaynaka al-kawthar O Prophet, surely we have given you kawthar. Faswalli li rabbika wanhar so offer salah to your Lord and sacrifice. Inna shaniyaka huwa al-abtar. Surely it is your enemy whose trace is cut off. You did a great job translating that, but I didn't understand some things. I hope I can answer them for you. What does the word kawthar mean in the first ayah? The word kawthar? has 26 different meanings. Surah al kawthar means Surah of Great Blessings and Bounties. But the word kawthar in ayah number one is a river that would be in Jannah. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, will actually pass out water to all the people in Jannah from that river. So, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean when he says to sacrifice for him? In ayah number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to offer salah. You understand that part. But when he says to sacrifice for him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you sacrifice a lot for your idols by giving them many things. So push the idols to the side. And how about you sacrifice for the sake of Allah? So, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean when he says, your enemy traces will be cut off? Like I told you in the beginning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that all the Makkins will be up there. And this is the same thing in ayah number three. He says your enemy's traces will be cut off. Or in other words, all their children will now spread the message of Islam. They will be Muslim. Oh, I think I understand the main message. Whenever you get the blessing from Allah, we should offer the prayer and sacrifice. Good job. Now you know a lot about Surah al kawthar Please like and subscribe and leave a good comment in the comment section.